that Hannah Yarby. And I'm gonna miss Las Vegas. Let's go, fellas. It's packing up time. Do we have to go home now, Mom? Yes, we have to. We just got here yesterday. Why can't we go home tomorrow? Because all holidays have to end sometime. Why? Yeah, why? Oh, fine, pal. That's right. Make me the heavy. <laughs> yes, we're checking out at one. Would you have our bill ready, please? Yes, thank you. Bye. Have you packed yet, Marie? Not quite. I hate to leave. Oh, the party's over, my friend. They're sweeping up the rice and stacking all the chairs. This is a beautiful wedding. And the champagne luncheon and all this luxury. Duchess, do you plan to go to Scotland for the grouse shooting season? Oh, no, my dear. The Duke and I will remain at the castle during the chicken plucking season. <laughs> Come on now, you dreamy-eyed person. Move it. That's sure some lucky coin Mr. Henderson gave you. Yeah, some luck. Mom, why can't me and Rosie wagon and take just one more swim? Just a little one before we go? We'll be right back on it. Please? Julia? Oh, we really shouldn't let them gang up on us like this. Oh, boy! Now, hear me good, you guys. Exactly 30 minutes and everybody out of the pool. One o'clock or we'll be down to get you with a net. I told you it was a lucky coin. <laughs> Slaving over that table all night, and I couldn't make a point. Those dice were colder than my ex-wife's kiss. I saw more snake eyes than a keeper at the Bronx Zoo. I'm wearing my same lucky shirt. I'm staying in the same suite. I played at the same table. Where did I go wrong? Where did I? Mr. Anderson was sure right about this lucky coin. Yeah, it sure is lucky for us. If it wasn't for this, we wouldn't even be here. Yeah, but it's gonna bring us all kinds of good stuff. Us? It's my lucky coin. <clears throat> Excuse me, son. Yeah, I happen to be an expert on luck. May I see that lucky coin of yours? Sure. <laughs> 50 lira. What? It's Italian money. I made a business trip to Milano last month, and I want to tell you I sure was lucky. And listen, young man, this coin can be just as lucky for you and your friend here. Both of us? Yes, sirree, Bob. Who's Bob? <laughs> you know what I'm going to do for you? What? I'm going to give you each one dollar for that lucky coin of yours. How's that? A dollar? Gee, are we lucky. We, oui, it's my coin. Two bucks American for eight cents worth of Italian lira. Better grab it, boys. It's the deal of the year. I'll make it five dollars each. Gee, but Mr. Henderson might not like it if I sold it. Is it Mr. Henderson? Well, let's ask Mr. Henderson. We can. He went to San Francisco with Mrs. Yachty. They're on their honeymoon. I think we could work it out. You can have the ten bucks if you just lend me the coin. We gotta go soon. Now, you keep out of this. I'm doing business with him. I'm sorry, mister. Our mothers are waiting for us. And they're a real tough guy. If we're not back by one o'clock, they're gonna come after us. With a net. 12.40. I did it before, and I can do it again. Wait here, son. I promise to return your coin in 15 minutes. How do I know you'll be back? Oh, son, next time I negotiate a deal, I want you on my side. Here. Security for my loan. Now you know I'm coming back. Don't forget, mister, one o'clock. All right, all right. We finished together another fabulous first for the tank car. Okay.
Okay, that'll get it until tonight at showtime. However, before you cats split, I, uh, I'd like to lay the fatherly advice number on you. Oh, lay it on us, Daddy. Now, we're all hip to what Las Vegas is famous for, right? However, this thriving little community does have its cultural side, you see. Oh, yeah, they've got a great public library. And they've got a noted historical society. Oh, there's more for rock collect. I never saw a room empty so fast. Barbarians. Oh, Riff raff. Listen, Annie, you want to join me in the lounge for a jug of mint tea? Uh, make it a root beer float. And I'm your slave. And your agent told me you were a woman of simple tastes. I told you. You could at least call and say hello. It would be nice to hear Tank's voice again. Blade Hill High is the highest of the high. Oh, Tank! You remember. <laughs> you know, that's the charm of this desert Babylon. You never know who's going to show up. You remember my neighbor, Marie Wagador? How could I forget? What's happening, Nabe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. And now, I'd like to present to you, lurking under all that leather there, our vocalist, Miss Annie O'Day. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hi. I love your singing, Annie O'Day. Oh, thank you. Watch yourself, Annie. That kid there has been known to wail up a storm or two herself. Julia was with the first group I had back in Indiana. Yes, we were very big at Glade Hill High. Yeah, you know, it's a shame we grew up. Listen, you girls are going to be sitting ringside tonight when we open up. And then tomorrow, we're going to really ball it up. Oh, thanks, Tank, but I'm sorry. We have to get home tonight. You can't do this to Mr. Wonderful. Oh, yeah, I, I guess they can. Work for us, school for the kids, Mondays, bah humbug. Oh, I can see it's going to be a long ride back to L.A. Come on, Marie, we have to get to the kids in the pool, remember? The kids? Corey and Earl are up here? We brought them along to attend a wedding. Well, the odds here in Vegas are as good as anywhere else. Hey, we got to see the kids. Come on, Annie. They're fans. <laughs> There goes my root beer float. Twenty-one seconds. This time I'm gonna break the world's record. You just bragging. Yeah, if the lifeguard sees my bubbles, tell him I'm okay. There's Earl. Earl, you come out this minute. What do you say, Big Red? Danny, I'd like you to meet Earl J. Wagadorn. Hi, Mr. Blue. Where's Corey? At the bottom of the pool. I saw you on television last week. Yeah? How was I? Pretty good. At the bottom of the pool? Who? Corey. Oh. Boy, he's never coming up. <laughs> I did it! I broke the world's record! All right, Frogman, the caper's over. Mom, it's Tank Blue! You just can't fool an old scuba diver. Annie, meet Corey Baker. He and Earl here are an entry. Corey, where'd you get that watch? We didn't hurt it. It's waterproof. Man gave it to me for security. Yeah, he borrowed Corey's lucky coin. And he gave me five dollars. Me too. Well, I don't know who this belongs to, but I know one thing. He didn't get it for sending in no box tops. Look at this. Solid gold band and case. A calendar. Push-button timer. It even registers the phases of the moon. I wonder if it could read my horoscope. <laughs> Look, it's engraved. Michael Murray. Mad Mike? Let me see this. Well, that isn't a grabber. You know this ticker belongs to the highest roller of them all? Do you know him? Everybody does. Yeah, he hits Glitter Gulch here, you know, a couple times a year. Wins a bundle, loses one, then he climbs in his big bird and splits for New York. He's got his own plane? <gasps> More or less. Courtesy of the General Construction Company. And he's the general. There he is! Right on time! Tank, Annie, say, I haven't seen you since Miami. How you doing? Still trying to convince the customers that talent isn't everything. Well, you fooled them so far. And uh, who are these pretty ladies? Uh -huh. The chairman of the board still has an eye for construction. Mrs. Baker, Mrs. Wagadorn, this is Mr. Murray. Well, this is my day. How do you do? 
I believe you have met the young uh, dudes here? Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> Here's your watch, mister. Can I have my coin back? Oh, now, wait a minute, Lucky. Let's talk this over. Sounds like the Golden Arm has just made a big score. Yes, yeah, 17 straight passes. Now, look, son, I kept my word about coming back, so let's renegotiate. I keep the coin until tonight, and you get a piece of the action. Retroactive. I want my coin now. We have to go home. Yes, we're checking out. But you're checking out my luck in the middle of the hottest streak I ever had. I'm sorry, but we have to drive all the way back to Los Angeles. Doesn't anyone have any influence on this charming but determined young lady? But don't look at me. Swami has just had a vision. Well, let's have it, let's have it. How would you guys like to go for a speedboat ride in Lake Mead? You know, fish for the big ones in one of the biggest man-made lakes in the world? Yeah! Now, Tank... Now, Julia, this is part of Las Vegas you just got to visit. Nobody ever sees the flip side of this town. Right. You and Mrs. Wigglehorn... The name is Wagadorn. <laughs> Wiggle, waggle, so long as you're healthy. Uh, but you'll both enjoy the sights as much as the kids. Oh, how would you know? You never get past the crap tables. You're a singer, not a comic. Can we stay, Mom? Can we? We came with the bakers, we leave with the bakers. Julia, I mean, why fight the weekend traffic for seven or eight hours when you can stay here and all have a groovy day outdoors? Here, here. And first thing in the morning, I'll fly you back in the company jet. I've got the best pilot in the country. Oh, boy! But what about our car? It'll be waiting for you with the motor running the minute you step off the plane in L.A. The chairman of the board strikes again. <laughs> well, what can I say? <laughs> say, yeah! <laughs> How's the patient? Oh, touch of laryngitis. Nothing serious. Maybe not for my Aunt Zelda. This kid's my vocalist. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. That's terrific. She sounds just like Tony Bennett. What's wrong with that? She's a girl. Oh. oh. What am I going to do now? Oh, no. Tank? Now, just forget it. I saw that on the Late Show anyway with Deanna Durbin. For old Lang Syne. Mm -mm. Mom's apple pie? Mm -mm. No. Well, what about for an old buddy? Tank, this isn't the Glade Hill High Senior Prom, you know. This is Las Vegas. This is the real thing. Honey, hiding inside every hip show wise finger popper in that audience out there is a kid just yearning for his high school prom, for his days of innocence and expectation. Oh, honey, they'll love you. You'll kill him. No, tell Now, me. now, now. Tell Never argue with a headliner. Are you scared, Mom? A little, yes. Is it time to go downstairs? Who am I trying to kid? I'm scared a lot. <laughs> Worry, Monroe J. Wagadorn. I'll be right back, Mom. Hi, man. They told me you wanted to see me. I hope it's important. It's costing me money. I gotta have my lucky coin back, Mr. Murray. Yeah, he really needs it. Hey, I thought we had a deal. It's important. 
I just got to have my lucky coin back for an hour. I just got to. Yeah, okay, okay, if it's that important. <laughs> Here. And I hope it is as lucky for you as it's been for me. Now, go on. Tell him I'm on my way. I got something for you, Mom. Oh, what is it, darling? I have to go. It's my lucky coin. I made Mr. Murray give it back. Corey Baker, did I ever tell you you're quite a fella? Sure, lots of times. Tell me again. All right. You are quite a fella. And thank you for this, sweetheart. That's okay. I figured you need it a lot more than Mr. Murray does. We're not scared now, are we, Mom? No, we're not scared now. Not now. <laughs> Losers, tonight we are winners. Because I'm about to present to you, in her first Las Vegas appearance, a beautiful belle from my boyhood. The dazzling Julia Baker. Lately I have noticed all my friends avoid me. My man who loved me up and said goodbye. My whole world is coming apart and falling in on me. And I guess deep down I know the reason why. Oh, lately I've been living for nobody else but me. Let my selfish ego take command. Lately I've been giving in to pride and vanity. And I guess I let it get the upper hand. And I think it's just about time to have a little talk with myself. Have a little talk with myself. Little private conversation, little self-examination, little attitude correction, little soul search and inspection. Start heading in the right direction. Take a little walk, have a little talk with myself. things in this life. My outlook had a twisted point of view. All you reap with vanity is heartache and strife. Without love and friendship, you can't make it through. I guess it's just about time to have a little talk with myself. Have a little talk with myself. No private conversation, no self-examination. Little attitude correction, little soul search and inspection. Start heading in the right direction, analyzing, recognizing, criticizing, realizing, organizing, socializing, ostracizing. Oh, I said, have a little walk and a little talk with myself. Do -do 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 -do. Two days and I haven't even seen the inside of the casino. Well, that shows you have strength of character. Not character. I've got a ward. <laughs> well, Julia, do you have a dime? Mm-hmm. What do you want it for? Never mind, warden. It's just a candy machine. Oh.
but there's a very interesting story that goes with all this. Your friend Mike Murray isn't the only high roller. Marie just hit a real jackpot. <laughs>